فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل واشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمد اخر الانبياء في الدنيا عصرا واجلهم يوم القيامه شانا وذكرا صلى الله وملائكته والصالحون من خلقه كما وحد الله وعرف به ودعا اليه اما بعد ان شاء الله تعالى this benefit ان شاء الله تعالى is going to be about the cure to obsession some people are obsessed with a particular person whether it be a spouse or whether it be something else or someone else and they feel like this has become now a big problem in their life and they want to be free from the shackles of this op- obsession that they are in so inshallah ta'ala i'm going to share with you from the uh, majmu' al-fatawa of sheikh al-islam ibn taymiyyah page 136 sheikh al-islam ibn taymiyyah sets down and point out cures for the person who is suffering from obsession. And Shaykh al-Islam al-Taymiyyah, he says the following. He says, إِذَا كَانَ الْقَلْبُ مُحِبًّا لِلَّهِ وَحْدَهُ مُخْلِصًا لَهُ الدِّينِ لَمْ يُبْتَلَ بِحُبِّ غَيْرِهِ أَصْلًا فَضْلًا أَنْ يُبْتَلَ بِالْعِشْقِ Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah says, If the heart is in love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that person establishes the religion with sincerity. That person will not be tested with loving other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatsoever. فَضْلًا أَنْ يُبْتَلَى بِالْعِشْقِ Let alone be tested with obsession. So Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah says here that if you come with the love of Allah alone and you come with sincerity in your religion, Allah will not test you with loving anyone other than Him, let alone obsession to other than Him or obsession to anything. Obsession to anything else. Now Shaykh al-Islam Taymiyyah goes on to saying وَحَيْثُ بْتُلِيَ بِالْعِشْقِ فَلِنَقْصِ مَحَبَّتِي لِلَّهِ وَحْدَهُ If you ever get tested with an obsession it is because there's a deficiency in your love of Allah alone. وَلِهَذَا لَمَّا كَانَ يُوسُفُ مُحِبًّا لِلَّهِ مُخْلِصًا لَهُ الدِّينِ لم يبتلى بذلك بل قال الله تعالى كذلك لنصرف عنه السوء والفحشاء إنه من عبادنا المخلصين الله سبحانه وتعالى الشيخ سيز الشيخ غوزان تسين and because of that نبي الله يوسف when he was one that was in love of Allah and he was sincere in his religion Allah did not test him with the love of anything other than Allah. And that is why Allah says, كَذَلِكَ like that, لِنَصْرِفَ عَنْهُ السُّوءِ And like that, we divert evil, والفحشاء and zina. إِنَّهُ he was مِنْ عِبَادِنَا الْمُخْلَصِينَ He was from the slaves of ours that were sincere. Now some of you may not know the difference between مُخْلِصِين and مُخْلَصِين There's a fatha on one and there's a kasra on one When the lamb has a kasra مُخْلِصِين It means that the person is sincere and he sometimes loses the sincerity مُخْلِص is a person who is sincere the majority of the times, but sometimes he loses the sincerity. But the mukhlas is the one 
who is consistent upon sincerity. And he's always, he, him and sincerity have become one. And that is why some of the scholars, they took from this, that Nabiullah Yusuf, since he was one that was consistent with sincerity, and he did not depart from sincerity whatsoever, and that he was a continuously sincere individual, the shaitan was never able and to come and whisper to Nabiullah Yusuf. Some of the scholars, they said that Yusuf, shaitan wasn't able to come to this moment to him and to whisper to him. Because you know, all of you, shaitan, alayhi la'ainullah, may Allah's continuous curse be upon him. He made an oath that he's going to misguide all the creation of Allah I'm going to misguide them all. Except your slaves who are continuously sincere. And that is what Nabiullah Yusuf was. So Shaytan could not have come anywhere close to Yusuf السلام, in misguiding him or whispering to him to commit this zina or to follow uh, whims and desires. But this, the fa'idah that Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah is bringing from this story, my beloved brothers and sisters, is Yusuf alayhi salam was one who was sincere in the religion of Allah. Sincerity in the religion of Allah means that Yusuf alayhi salam, everything of his religion was done for Allah alone. Whether it be love, whether it be fear, whether it be hope, whether it be pray, whether it be... Every act was done only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is why there was no room for anyone else to enter his heart. Ibn Taymiyyah goes on to say, As for the woman of the Aziz, the leader, فَكَانَتْ مُشْرِكَةً Her heart had shirk in it. It was not purely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It wasn't upon ikhlas. Her heart had shirk in it. فَكَانَتْ مُشْرِكَةً هِيَ وَقَوْمُهَا Her and her people were mushriks. They worshipped other than Allah. فَلِهَذَا and because of that Because of that اُبْتُلِيَتْ بِالْعِشْقِ She was tested with this obsession. وَمَبْتُلِيَ بِالْعِشْقِ أَحَدٌ And no one is ever tested with obsession إِلَّا لِنَقْصِ تَوْحِيدِهِ وَإِمَانِهِ Except there is a deficiency in his tawheed and there is a deficiency in his iman. وَإِلَّا فَالْقَلْبُ الْمُنِيبُ إِلَى اللَّهِ Because the heart that returns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Al Khaifu Minhu that is scared of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fihi Sarifani Yasrifani Anil Ishq. He has two things that alter him and that divert him from obsession. Pay attention. The heart that turns to Allah, the heart that is fearful of Allah, there are two elements that are in that person's heart, that are in him, that diverts him that prevents him from falling into obsession. Ahaduhuma, the first one is, inabatu ilallahi wa mahabbatuhu lah. He's always running back to Allah, and he's already in love of Allah. فَإِنَّ ذَلِكَ أَلَذُّ وَأَطْيَبُ مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ فَلَا أَبْتْ فَلَا تَبْقَى مَعَ مَحَبَّةِ اللَّهِ مَحَبَّةُ مَخْلُوقٍ تُزَاحِمُهُ For verily, that is the most sweetful and the most joyful thing that a person can gain whatsoever to have love to run back to Allah wa ta'ala for that person there is no extra room left in his heart for anyone other than Allah it's already preoccupied his heart is already fully taken with the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so he has no room for anyone else the second, the second thing that diverts these people 
from falling into obsession is what? خَوْفُهُ مِنَ اللَّهِ They are scared of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَإِنَّ الْخَوْفَ مُضَادًا لِلْعِشْقِ Fear is the opposite of obsession. So, that fa'ida, that benefit that Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah mentioned, haqiqatan it is an answer to so many people's questions that are put forward at us. And that the question and the inquiries that are asked from us. I hope it answers your question. And I hope it makes you take it on board and implement it. Anything which I had said that was wrong, فَإِنَّهُ مِنِّي وَمِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ وَاللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ بَرِئَانِ مِنْ It is from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi.